All right. Welcome to the first episode of hopefully a daily series to be titled, I think we'll go with um, Therapy Exercise Smoke Show. Something along the lines. It has to have Smoke Show in the title. Um, because, because check this out. We're going to transform this embarrassing, embarrassing body. Uh, try to sculpt it. And maybe talk about Jordan Peterson stuff. Try not to grab my my wiener. I uh, it was like a tick or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, inauspicious way to start. Sorry. Also, I grab my nose a lot like that because uh, I'm self-conscious about. It. I have a well, mom called it a deformed nostril the other day, and then oh, don't use the word deformed. She didn't mean it like that. She's trying to be complimentary most of the time, but. Uh, deformed is a is a rough one so uh, folks with larger noses or bulbous noses we, we do this all the time like it psychologically it's like making our nose smaller um, but yeah I woke up out of a 10-year depression coma I call it um, wasted a lot of time um, been through a lot of stuff you know through life and my childhood and stuff but from someone who themselves went through worse. So, good lord, it's getting cold with that fan on. And I have the window open. Anyway, I digress. Um, you know, let's get fit, let's get healthy, let's, let's get mentally and physically better because, you know, um, we live in the present. Um, I've learned, I've learned. And uh, time might be uh, finite. It turns out, you know, I uh, I haven't the hubris to to say what what happens uh, after I finally get happy and get hit by a bus the next day, <laughs> right? That's clearly uh, where this is headed. I'll be like, oh, I'm I'm fulfilled, you know. I'll get a girlfriend, a wife, have a kid or something. Finally, after forty years, and then. Um, and then I'll get hit by a cement truck the very next day, right right after uh, I've reached what I was trying to do. But let's get there so we can get hit by that merciful, merciful cement truck. I used to say when uh, God kicks me down the... S <laughs> no, no, sorry. I screwed it up. This is why I'm not good at comedy uh, yet or maybe ever. Uh, when God closes a door... He then kicks me down the stairs. And the trick is to get comfortable on the bottom step. And we can't kick you down anymore. Now, I was talking to somebody and I realized there's probably two more, several more staircases past the, the bottom step of the staircase I'm at. I live in, in abject luxury compared to 95% of the world. So, um, constant gratitude, even when stuff's blowing up. Stuff's kind of blowing up. And, um... We're having a, a mindset of, oh, it could be so much worse and life is not fair. And, oh, if only it were, you know what I mean? That would be pretty neat. Because if life was fair, I don't know that all my life's actions would shake out where, um, you know, I, everything would be perfect. Because I'm a deeply flawed individual. I try not to hurt people. Ever. That's my main, uh, you know, um... Tenant, don't cause real harm. But because of all the the stuff, you know, from my past, there's a psychological phenomenon called sublimation. Ah, uh, well, I think that's where all the dark jokes come from, you know? Um, oh, my uncle just texted me. So I'm reaching out to family. Long story short, mom got scammed uh, and missed two mortgage payments. So, uh-oh, you know? Uh, I need to get motivated. I have stuff to sell. I got magic cards and stuff, but I mean, maybe the family can throw me a bone, huh? <laughs> I, I uh, don't ask for anything. I have never bothered them, and I actually had no idea um, what my life's been like the last the last 40, which is not all bad, just peppered with nuclear winter stuff. But overall, I mean, really, um, it's easy to complain, but it's um, 
now easier to have gratitude. Like, really, truly, uh, I'm so enlightened. All right, so, for episode one of the Spoke Show, I'm going to have to eventually get some non-copyrighted music. What do you think? But, I like to tell people, this summer, that I was lifting weights to Katy Perry on the deck, which I was. Uh, this summer was great, but, body positivity style, I am going to play my spirit animal. And hopefully, I think she'd be cool with me using this for the five people to watch this. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get fit. Mm. Grab your delicious cigarette. Right? This is just an ad. Oh, like I heard uh, about this super woke um, uh, show on HBO Max with the claymation stuff and Sarah Silverman. And, and hey, I want the same things everybody else wants, but. Aren't we sprinting in the wrong direction with the othering that's going on with the like on the left side of things? I get like the right's just openly fucking hateful, but on the left, it's a more subversive kind of. Um, I find, you know, I uh, thinking I need to eggshell around these different like. Oh, there's cool people, and there's fucking not cool people, in every every group of people I've met. You know what I mean? No, no, probably the Jews are my favorite. If I had to pick one, my best buddy's a Jewish guy. And uh, every time I've been to any of their houses or... Uh, gun to my head, I like the Jews. Which sounds like a slur and it's not, which is hilarious. Anyway, without further ado, let's... Uh, so you got your cigarettes, grab your coffee, right? I'm helping people do this along with me. It's, 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 it's exercise time. It's already been fucking seven minutes. Whoopsie. <laughs> I could have shortened these up. First episode, you know, growing pains. I'm pretty much, if I do this for me, you know, I'm trying to stay motivated. I, I just, oh, and I need um, validation. I need validation so bad. Uh, so, um, feel free to give me validation. Uh, I'm not shy about um, how I need that, like, uh, oxygen. All right, let's work out to Lizzo. And smoke our cigarettes and drink our coffee. And talk about philosophy, maybe. I don't know. All right. We got our... Oh, Jesus. This is a good one, right? And uh, you go slow with it. There, a 20-pound kettlebell. While you grab whatever uh, is kind of hard to lift. You know what I mean? And just do uh, do it till your arm gets sore. Go uh, slow. I found I found slow. You know, it saves you time. <laughs> you do. Oh, a few reps, starting to feel the burn. God bless Lizzo. She's my. Uh, I have a Lizzo inside of me, right? I'm a straight white guy. Basically, the only thing that's okay to be hated. Uh, like, you know, I go to church, I'm, uh, I look like a fat Hitler youth grown up, uh, I do <laughs> any kind of joke, uh, I'll take that mantle though, you know what I mean? You could put it on me, I didn't do smallpox blankets, I promise, but, um, if it makes you feel better, you know what I mean? It's okay, it's okay, um, I don't mind, I'm not... <laughs> worried about it. I'm not... Oh no. Uh, oh no. Everybody hates white guys. Like, we'll be alright. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. You know what I mean? I like women. I prefer women to men. A lot of guys are fine. Much rather talk to a lady, right? I mean, I don't know. I think we can turn this into something. It's the carbs. Oh, and I have a trash back. And that guy have like turbo arthritis, I call it. Doctors and time <laughs> doctors and scientists call it turbo arthritis, I think. Uh, so I'm lifting this in a uh, way that people are gonna yell at me for. Uh, it never fails. People go, "Oh, you're exercising wrong. Your form is all off." And it's like, "Well, I'm lifting something, and uh, I'm doing it in a way that doesn't hurt my back." So, fuck off. <laughs> 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 
Fun. Good to dance around here. I got the uh Oh I missed the sunlight. I'm from a frozen north. Minnesota. It sucks asshole. Um I mean I love it. I love it. This is the best state on the planet. And we are rapidly turning into California. And there's a little lake in the back of my house. So when the water wars start, you know, and uh Oh, I give it a decade. I'm planning on checking out in a decade. I hope to not want to check out in a decade, but I think like 50. We're good at 50, right? Seems like a good goal. Live to 50. All right, we're almost done with our delicious, life-affirming cigarette. Let's put the next song on. Let's split this into a couple episodes. Woo! All right, sir. Sirs and madams, oh, let's move on to the the 30 pound motherfucker. Oh, that's the one, huh? Oh boy. Ah, let me take a really quick medicine break. Oh, I have a prescription. Don't worry about it. <coughs> It helps with the pain <coughs> of uh, physical and life. You know what I mean? If you're not on medicinal marijuana, what are you doing? You probably should be. You know what I mean? One of the things mom used to yell about the most. And then now, uh, why well, she's like, I call her Cheech. She's a stoner. It's good and bad. Like she's mostly in a great mood. Things are slipping. I'm no good at. Uh, real life adult responsibility stuff at all so um she used to do that stuff and um well that's falling apart a little bit one more hit of medication welcome to smoke show merry christmas you know what i mean oh uh, cheers Delicious perky seed, come on in, man. All right, did you bring the homeless people over? Oh, okay, I'll keep her in the room. Yeah, can you put her in the room? I'm doing my show. Love you, man. You want to get on my show? Here, come say hi. If you want. There's mom. Hi. <laughs> so there's, uh, what are we up to today? I'm taking some people home. Yeah, uh, from the gas station. Now, she's a much nicer person than me, because I said, why, we shouldn't even go to that gas station anymore, right? Because she keeps getting cornered by Toothless, I call her. Oh, Here, she come on, get in camera. When I first met her, she was beautiful you when I first cigarette? met her, but she lost. Before we pick up these She had a horrible people. accident, and he had a horrible accident. They're freezing. She's starving, so of course I'm taking Ma, them This away. is called Smoke Show. Let's have a cigarette. I know, but I have to go pick them up. I have to go, to Menards. I have to go to Menards to get gloves. They definitely am there, the pharmacy said. I've been looking for gloves to bake with. Oh, um, I can't bake with my hands because they taste like soap. We have that oven glove, and we have other stuff. No, we don't have the little gloves. I mean, little gloves. We have a ton of the, um, the the ones that Jeff got. This isn't compelling. <laughs> the little ones? Where are they? Uh, okay. Well, like the plastic ones, but the really good, the nubbed ones. No, not the nubbed Oh, okay. Well, I have other ones that you can use that are um, like what you would buy there. I, I just found them. Where? Right? <laughs> Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'll grab them for you. All right. Episode one of Smoke Show went pretty good, I say. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this again, guys. I hope every day I'm gonna try. Well, oh, what if I got Wolverines like looking? Wouldn't that be neat? I'd get laid. 